Calculating the area of a parallelogram can look a little bit daunting, but really any parallelogram like this one over here is going to have the same sort of a slant on each side because these two sides, our two slanted sides, are at the same angle and these two sides, the top and the bottom, are at the same angle. They're going to be parallel, right? That means that if I were to pick a spot that's this corner down here where my angle starts on the bottom and draw a 90 degree perpendicular line to the base straight up to the top of my figure and cut off that little tab, that little tab will always just fit on the other end of my parallelogram. In fact, let's see if we can do that here. I didn't think about trying this earlier, but in theory it ought to work. Yeah. Let's do it this way. There. And that little corner triangle right here will always just fit on the other end. If we do that, if we move it down to the other end, then we haven't changed the area, right? The overall area is going to be the same because we have we've just sort of cut off this little piece and moved it around. We haven't changed the size of our rectangle at all. That means that the area of the original rec uh, original parallelogram here will be the same as the area of the new par new rectangle over here. Well, if our parallelogram, say, on this side was, oh, I don't know, eight units across the base from point to point, and then was eight units across the top from point to point, but then that little vertical line we drew in, say that vertical line was six units. Well, now when we've cut this triangle off the end, that little piece of the area, and just moved it over here for easy calculation, we have a rectangle that's eight units by six units. Now we can use our formula for area of a rectangle and perimeter of a rectangle to find the area and perimeter of our, of our uh, parallelogram that was our original shape. So all you need to know for the area of a parallelogram is that the area is the base times the height and that the perimeter is 2 times the base plus 2 times the height, same as the rectangle. The only trick to it is to recognize that this distance, this diagonal line down here, that forms one of the sides of the parallelogram, that isn't the height. That's the slant height. That's sort of the, I mean, you can use that for the, per, the uh, perimeter, but you can't use that to calculate the area because that isn't exactly how tall it is. You may have to find, using your uh, Pythagorean theorem, you may have to find a triangle in your original parallelogram here so that you can calculate one, two, three sides and use that side as your h for your area because you actually need to have for this height you actually need to have the distance from the top of the parallelogram to the bottom of the parallelogram not just the distance up that slant and you'll see that in the example questions